Now we're going to load the roll of labels onto the roll holder rod. Remove the one inch collar with thumb screw and then put the roll guide onto the roll holder rod. Now we're going to put the core inserts onto the roll of labels. Then slide those roll of labels onto the roll holder rod. Now we're going to put on the second roll guide and the last one inch collar with thumb screw. Tighten so that there's just a little bit of tension so that the roll of labels will not free spool. Now we are going to remove the front plate. Slide it to the left and then lift up and to the right. Then we are going to bend the brush down so that we can see the label sensor. To load the labels, make sure they are facing upside down and going off the back of the roll. The notches on the end of the roll guide should slide onto the chrome rod at the bottom of the machine. With the labels facing down, bring them underneath the entire machine and towards the front. Thread the labels through the sensor and then between the front rod and the dispensing table. Here is a close up view of the sensor. Be sure your labels go through the sensor and not behind it. You can move the sensor left or right by loosening the thumb screw. Make sure that the optical sensor is detecting the center of your labels and tilt it so that the labels can pass through the sensor freely. Your labels will then feed directly around the dispensing table and go back down under the belt. Once you have your labels going back under the belt, you're going to grasp them from the back side of the machine. You're going to go in between the feed roller assembly and the label drive roller. If you notice, both rollers are knurled. Lift up here and pull the backing paper towards the back of the machine and over the roll of labels. Make sure they are straight and then grasp the feed roller assembly and push back until it snaps into place. Now that we have our labels threaded, we are going to turn on the machine and turn the switch back to normal operation. We are going to run our hand over the laser repeatedly until we dispense two labels. There's our first two labels. Now we are going to flip the brush back up. You can adjust the height according to your product. For example, if you have a recessed label surface, you can adjust the brush higher to help push the label up and smooth it onto that recessed area. Once you have the desired height, tighten the screw on the left hand side frame. Tighten until you feel a slight resistance when moving the brush. Reinstall the front plate. Left side goes in first and then push down and to the right.